Well, hello everybody and welcome to another very crazy and wild cheat day review. I have a very special guest with me today. Hi, I'm Jimmy. And I am DJ Glowing Eyes. And today we are trying the all new exclusive drink from Coca-Cola. It's called the Coca-Cola Bite Zero Sugar. I don't know why I just did that, but I felt like doing it. Jimmy, what's your first impression on this when you first heard about it? Well, it's something something different. You know, I'm a avid diet soda drinker, so it shouldn't affect me too much as far as that goes. But I don't know. It looks interesting. It almost looks like maybe candy or something flavored, but who knows? Well, see, I brought Jimmy in as almost like a necessity for this review because I don't drink any zero sugar or diet soda or any kind of stuff like that. Jimmy, on the other hand, he drinks diet and zero sugar stuff, so he'll have more of a solid review of what it should actually taste like, which for me, I'm probably going to taste a lot of this artificial sweeteners, and it's going to be kind of flawed with how I think of things, but uh, from a review of a guy that just drinks regular sugar soda, no diet stuff, you're going to get both uh, takes on it. Jimmy, you could have the honors of uh, opening the can up and All right. pouring the drinks there. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you what this is all about. So, the who? Well, Coca-Cola has put out Coca-Cola Bite Zero Sugar, obviously. This is a limited edition flavor. And the what? And it's supposed to taste like video game pixels. Pixel flavored Coca-Cola. And where you can get this in the United States is only exclusively on the store, the Coca-Cola store, but it is actually on store shelves in select countries in Latin America. And on May 24th, it's gonna be available in China. Taking a look at the website, the first ever Coca-Cola flavor born in the metaverse. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar Bite celebrates the everyday magic of pixels coming together to facilitate digital connection. Now, Jimmy, digital connection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to talk about video games. Okay, uh, let's do it. Yeah, have you ever played online? Are you an online gamer? You know, so I have, yeah, when it like very first got popular and... Uh, I don't know, anytime I got online, some kid just, or whoever, just always, like, destroyed me, killed me. I couldn't do anything fun, so I just never played it since. I'm sure the quality has gone up since then, but, yeah, not really. Yes. Yeah. Me, myself, playing online. I didn't ask you. Well, ah! I don't... <laughs> oh, good one. All right, all right, all right. Well, I, I play single-player video games, so I, I don't feel any connection playing with anybody else. Unless it's like two player Super Mario Brothers 3 on the NES or something. Yeah. But besides that, uh, apparently that's what this is supposed to taste like is okay. that connection. Um, Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So whenever you uh, buy this, what you get in this box, you're going to get two cans of the Coca Cola Zero Sugar Bite, one Coca Cola Bite sticker, which you can see in the unboxing video I did right before this one, and you get access to an AR game which is you just scan the code with your phone on the uh, can and uh, you could play a game on your phone, apparently. Uh, one of these boxes cost $14.77. It's only available for a limited time, so if you want to try it, get it while you can. And that's basically it. No more. All right. No more. All right. Jimmy, are you ready to try this? Oh, I'm ready. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah. Kind of smells like like a berry. It smells berryish. Yeah. It smells like a berry. Yeah. It looks like regular Coke. Cheers. All right, ready? Yep. Does it have that diet soda kick to it? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
Okay, so it didn't like pop out. You could tell it's definitely like a Coke product, obviously. It tastes more like the soda Coca-Cola than it does Coca-Cola with a flavor, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like 80% Coca-Cola tasting with like a 20% berry-ish type flavor. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Okay. It's good. As a regular uh, soda drinker, I do taste the artificial sweetener kind of diet soda aftertaste. It kind of reminds me of Pepsi Blue in a way. If you ever drink Pepsi Blue, there is it feels like there's a lot happening at once. Like there's a rush of something. And it could be a berry taste. It could not. But this just kind of feels like a, a non-specific rush and you can't really tell what the flavor is exactly it's just kind of it's there there's a lot of carbonation it feels like but besides that there's there's not much else after that it's just kind of like yeah it doesn't really grab you i kind of felt like this tasted a little flat yeah myself yeah. like it just that's what know. i was that's what i was trying to explain like to me it just tastes more like regular coke with just a, a small tint of flavor yeah diet coke rather but let me get one more little squirt. You want Go some? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, let, let me get a bit too. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 yeah. It kind of smells like a punchy kind of thing. Like it's a, it's a bunch of berries mixed together. It's like a mixed berry kind of scent. And I also think, like, the more you get into it and the more you drink, the less berry flavor you taste, too. Like yeah. You just kind of get used to it right away. I think I got my rating. What do you say? I'll give it a 6 out of 10, probably. Yeah. I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 10. Yeah disregarding the fact that it's like a diet zero sugar taste very underwhelming if you tried coca-cola yeah. starlight a million times better than this i agree so i think there's a reason why it's a limited edition thing and you have to order it off the store because have you tried the coca-cola starlight zero no i have not but i heard it's complete garbage it is yeah, yeah. it is so would i refer this uh, to anybody, I would say no. I would say that Coca-Cola bites sucks. Yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah. Any final words, Jimmy, before we wrap up here? Yeah, cool box, cool can. Yeah, they definitely they hyped it up. Yeah, I think the coolest thing about this is the box, myself, and the packaging. But uh, I guess we'll see what's next. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, Coca-Cola can come back with something uh, halfway decent. Now, the, in the store, with all these Coca-Cola creations, like things, flavors, they're selling like T-shirts and hoodies with it. Oh, really? Are you gonna be sitting? Can you see yourself rocking a Coca-Cola Bite Zero Sugar hoodie? Yeah, I don't think so. For fifty dollars? So. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, that's it. My rating for the Coca-Cola Bites Zero Sugar is a 4 out of 10. And Jimmy's is a... 6 out of 10. And that is it for this cheat day review. I am DJ Glowing Ice. Wanting to remind you that it's okay to cheat... Once in a while. Every once in a while. <laughs> Let's do that again. <clears throat> Every, Every once, once in a, a while. while. See you next time. <laughs> All right. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff, buddy. Were you going to drink the rest of this?